Hello friends, in this video we will install Apache server on our virtual machine based on Ubuntu 16.04 then we will install MySQL server and in last we will install ESP7 so let's start with our Apache before that let's go to use the two commands Upgrade and upgrade. It will it it will upgrade your uh, already installed uh, package. So use it now. We'll use Apache 2 and Apache 2 util command. You can see on screen it has started installing all the dependencies related to Apache web server. So it it is one of the best web server available on internet so majority of websites and web hosting companies will use apache it gives very good performance so we are done with the install installation of our package so all the dependencies are also installed let's check the status of our Apache server it must be in active state yes it is active and running next thing we will do is to check the output of our uh, web server so before that we need to restart our Apache server also not only that we need to make it permanently enable for example if you have shut down your machine and next time when you uh, turn it on you need to uh, need uh, re initiate the apache server so to avoid that situation we will enable it permanently using this command whenever you will turn off your machine next time when you turn it on you do not need to worry about your apache you know to turn it on manually it will it will be done automatically so let's check it's, it's working it's the static IP of our machine so we are testing it from our windows using and we have installed it on our virtual machine the next thing is to install MySQL on this virtual machine which is based on Ubuntu 16.04 so that's it this command sudo apt install mysql hyphen server this alone command is going to take care of everything whatever dependencies it requires it will install by itself you can see it has it, the following new packages will be installed you can check li lib a or lib cgi or command perl there are, there are many there are ample of packages so these dependencies will take time to get installed download and install on our machine so we must wait to get them installed basically in this server we are going to install like we have already installed apache and we are making our mysql server ready and in next step we will install php7 once we are done with this we will install php my admin which is a graphical based tool to create database now it's time to set up root password must use some strong password so to keep your data protected from unknown sources so we are done with that now it is installing everything whatever it has downloaded so you can check it from unpacking so it is now downloading and making all the necessary changes to our machine to run the process smoothly it is installed now sudo system ctl status it should be in active state mysql not services 
so it's running now it's time to test root user it will prompt us to mysql uh, terminal prompt where we can use mysql based commands first command we will use to show databases whatever databases our mysql by default has so these are we will select mysql database to you to select it we will use use mysql semicolon we are selected now show tables command it will display all the tables inside this database so there are plenty of tables so we will select star from user it will not give us user friendly output so but i just want to show you command that these commands we can use to fetch data on terminal so we can create user we can delete user we can give authentication to user we can do a lot of things by command we can export and import data so i'm not going to discuss all these things we'll make separate video for that now it's time to install php 7 so it is a must thing because our next target is to install php my cp my admin sorry which is a graphical uh, tool software web based application to create databases so you if you are not comfortable with command line then you can use php my admin if you are comfortable with command line then try to avoid because as much you will use command line the more your server will stay secure so that's why there is no another reason so php7 is getting installed so it's creating config files and enabling modules so we will wait for a while once it is done it, it is done clear command and now we will create a file inside of the var var you can find this directory at the root of your operating system inside www slash html actually this directory is created by apache so before installing apache it was not there so info.php we will use php info function to get the output of php that what version and what modules of php are enabled on our system so let's test it on oh i need to use sudo before it let's exit sudo nano yes now we rewrite it php info close let's test it again actually it is not required but still i am restarting actually restart requires when we make changes in our apache or php config files as you do not require to restart your Apache. Yes, one nine two one six eight. The Apache is running in four dot php. But we will install then. what what is the issue let me see in file info oh i missed the question mark sign before php so what the actually i don't know my file the system is not working like responding properly yeah finally so question mark close 
yes now refresh the page yes it's working php 7.0.33 board 16.04 so php is working fine let's test one inbuilt function of uh, like syntax we will use echo to print our output to print output on screen echo it's not going to work do you know why let's test first then i'll tell you actually i did not make this intentionally but i typed so i decided to save it first then tell actually i wrote echo in wrong way it should be echo not echo so it's working so our apache and mysql and php are working perfectly thank you for watching in next video we will make and set up php mining thanks